Hey guys, Sin here back with the Lenovo Legion Y720. First I want to say thanks for the great response to the initial video. This is a follow up, kind of covering a lot of the information that you guys requested in the comments. This includes things such as optimizing settings, tips and tricks that I found along the way, and frame rates, temperatures, things like that. If you're running any laptop with an NVIDIA card, the first thing you're going to want to do is optimize your game settings. This can be done in the GeForce Experience application. Just find the game you want to optimize, click on details, and you'll see the option to optimize in here. I do this for both plugged in and battery because the battery life's not too much of an issue for me. I usually have it plugged in. As you can see, we're automatically on the highest settings possible now. The next thing you'll want to do is update your NVIDIA drivers regularly. This can be done as well in the GeForce Experience application. Click on the Drivers tab and hit Download. This will take a while but I've cut it shorter for the purpose of this video. Once this is completed, you will get the option to perform a clean installation. I recommend doing this every time to make sure there's nothing left behind from the previous driver. Once this is complete, you'll want to configure your NVIDIA settings. Just do this by right clicking on the desktop, click on NVIDIA Control Panel. The first thing you'll want to do is configure your surround and physics. This will be set to auto by default. I recommend setting it to your actual graphics processor. Just hit apply in the bottom right corner. This will take a moment. Once that's completed, you want to go to manage 3D settings and basically do the same thing. Change it from auto to high performance NVIDIA processor and hit apply in the bottom right corner. In games like Titanfall 2, this will make a huge difference. You may not have the same issue that I did, but one of the issues I came across initially was using the multi-tap functionality to access the right-click menu. What you want to do is click the Windows button and R together, and that will bring up the Run command. You'll want to type RegEdit. You'll then want to go to HKey Current User, go to Software, look for Synaptics, Send TP, Touchpad Settings, and you'll want to click on Two Finger Tap Action. You want to change this value to 2 and hit OK. Once this is complete, restart your computer and the right click double tap should work. When it comes to performance, one thing I always find personally that I really like is CCleaner. This is a free program that you can get from Puriform. Once the software is installed, just right click on your recycle bin, open CCleaner and you'll want to do a registry clean. Be sure to back up the changes to the registry. You'll notice an immediate difference with this. Using the actual C cleaner itself as well will also free up some storage space. Disabling startup items is always a great way to squeeze that extra bit of performance out. You just right click on the Windows icon, go to Task Manager, go to the Startup tab and disable any un unnecessary programs that are running in the background. The Y720 comes with its own suite of software called Lenovo NerveSense. This is a pretty useful piece of kit to have when it comes to gaming. You can set yourself to have network priority, meaning you get that little bit extra benefit on your network. Uh, you can prevent mistaken input on the touchpad if you're using an external mouse, and of course you can improve the sound. One of the features that I talked about was the extreme cooling. You just go in and you turn it on and the fans will go full blast. They are a bit louder. A normal room, according to an app on my phone, was 42 decibels. When this extreme cooling setting was on, it was around 62 decibels. This in terms of a quiet library to a conversation. It's not very loud, it's not too obnoxious. As you can see in the settings, you can set the path that you want to record the actual videos to. You can record them at a maximum of 50 frames per second in full HD, and you can choose to record the microphone or the mouse input. All this is connected to the actual button that is on the keyboard. One question I have was about more heavy duty processing software. So a great example of this is software for games design. I started off with Unity 3D. Using the sample models, the Y720 had no issues dealing with the actual software itself. A 
I tried using the live preview mode to see if there was any stuttering in the frames and it really had no issue with it. After testing this I decided to maximize the actual viewport so that I could see if on a bigger scale there was any issues here and again it handled it seamlessly. There was no real sound from the fans and there was no point where it sounded like it was struggling to process any of this. I decided to try 2D platformers and again I really would have been surprised if there was an issue here. But the one area I thought would really need tested was the particles and the physics. As you can see, particles explosions, it had no problem with this. I moved on then to a more intensive software again, Unreal Engine. I used the Space Corridor example which is full of smoke effects, highly reflective surfaces and really detailed models. It took a while to build the actual test build but as you can see it looks fantastic. Again, the Y720 showed no signs of stress whatsoever while testing this. I decided then I would actually use the live test build feature where you can play it in the viewport to see if maybe the test build had given us some false information. What is covered was even in the viewport, things looked exactly the same and it was seamless. The first game I decided to try was Overwatch. I kept the frames per second limited to the display as it is a 60Hz display. On average we're pushing around 70 frames per second on Ultra and as you can see it really had no issues with this at all. It played beautifully and it was a lot of fun to play. 70. Setting the custom frame rate I was able to push at least 120 frames per second out, but with the display only being 60 Hz it didn't feel necessary. To further illustrate this, you can see in Bioshock Infinite that we are in ultra settings and locked on a locked frame rate. We were at 60 frames per second, so I decided to remove the locked frame rate to see just how far we could push it. Almost instantly we shot up there around 140 frames per second. The one thing with keeping the frame rate unlocked is that the frame rate becomes very erratic. We suddenly had dips as far as 80 frames per second and we went as high as 200 frames per second. But visibly on the screen you, you didn't really see any difference. I decided then to cap it at 120 frames per second once I tried it in Battleborn with everything on ultra settings. The game consistently stayed around 100, only dipping really when there was a lot of particles and physics going on on the screen. Overall the, the game played and looked fantastic. The temperature stayed fairly low too and as you can see it's not really pushing the machine too far. I then decided to try Borderlands pre-sequel with uh, 120 frames per second as well. Interestingly the frame rate in this game was very erratic but it consistently stayed around over 60 frames per second. Again, 
I tried the Hello Neighbor Alpha to try something newer that hadn't quite hit the market yet to see just how well the Y720 would handle it. Now of course with this game being an alpha build you would expect that there would still be room for optimization. Overall though the game ran ultra and ran at a consistent 60 frames per second with no issues. Titanfall 2 I did have the V-Sync turned on and that locked it at the 60 frames per second but it stayed consistently at 60 frames per second with no real drops. The game played super smooth and looked great. Finally I decided to try Agony which is a very early alpha build. This game's running on ultra settings and with it being such an early build, there's a lot of room still for optimization. Overall the game looked phenomenal. Surprisingly the Y720 was able to handle at least 40 frames per second and even happened so far as 60 frames per second. Keeping in mind that this game is a very early build and has yet to be optimized, this was particularly impressive. Overall, I'm very happy with the Y720 and I'm still testing some elements. There's always a chance to squeeze a bit more power out of the graphics card with programs like MSI Afterburner. However, this is a program that I'm still getting familiar with and I wouldn't really want to give some bad advice. I'm sure there are probably still some things I've missed so be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you found this helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for regular gaming content and more reviews.